exclusive worldwide action coming your way. Scott Hudson, and as I live and breathe, back from the West Coast, it's Hollywood Mike today. I'm back. Unbelievable. Up the rubbing elbows and who knows what else with Rose McGowan out there, not to mention the likes of David Arquette, John Goodman. Boy, how is the ready-to-rumble shooting schedule going? I tell you, everything's going great out in Hollywood, but it's great to be back on WCW Worldwide. And Scott Hudson, what a program we have had for everyone this week on Worldwide. Scott Hall capturing the United States Heavyweight Championship in that Texas Tornado ladder match with a huge assist from, of all people, would you call him Kevin McNash, the Kev, Grand Kev, Wizard? Kev McNash. Oh, Kev McNash, the Grand Wizard. What a okay. shocker that was. Oh, and, and I am blown away by this situation between the maniacal David Flair and the always stunning Kimberly. What has gotten into the head, or what has left the head of David Flair? This guy has got a screw loose. All about mental torture when it comes to David Flair and Kimberly. He's had that opportunity for physical contact, but he's peeled off it at every turn. He what? He's decided to torture her with mind games, is what I'm trying to tell you. You're right. He has had more than enough opportunities to inflict damage on Kimberly. Hasn't done it. But he may. When we get to WCW Mayhem, Kimberly and David Flair one-on-one. -on -one. He can't avoid a physical confrontation when we get to Toronto. We also have revisited the situation between the total package and Sting. And now I think the world knows exactly what we're dealing with when we have to deal with the total package. We've seen his true colors. Mike, you were there in Indianapolis. I was there. We all saw that unbelievable return of Dustin Rhodes. We saw it earlier in this broadcast of WCW Worldwide. When I first saw that, I thought, well, maybe Jeff Jarrett wasn't the only piece of talent the powers that be brought down here from up north. But Dustin Rhodes, I mean, sent a crystal clear message to the new creative team here in WCW. It was a very spectacular ring entrance. We've been watching these video previews for the past couple of months. Everyone was expecting to see the live debut of Seven, and we heard this. Oh, well, we this, saw that, actually. We did. We, and, and at the same time, we heard this shoot-from-the-hip interview from Dustin Rhodes. It was a night we'll never forget. Dustin says, you will never, ever forget the name Dustin Rhodes, and I expect he's going to make his mark in WCW once again. Exclusive worldwide action. The West no. Texas Rednecks, Kendall Wendham and Curly Fries taking on no, no, the... No, 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 no. Curly Bill. Curly Bill. Curly Bill, I apologize. I'll edit that out later. Taking on the Armstrong. Ooh! Kendall, one of the breadbasket on Steve Armstrong, doubled him up. Two second generation competitors going at it right here. Armstrong into the ropes. Hip toss blocked by Steve Armstrong. Backslide coming up. Gets him over. Can he hang on? No, Kendall. Using his height to his advantage. Drop kick from Steve Armstrong. That move surprised Kendall Wyndham. Steve Armstrong, quick to regroup. Hot big Kendall with the drop kick. Oh, nice tag teamwork by the brothers Armstrong. Who will wear the gold? Ten pounds of it has no home. This Sunday at Mayhem, we will have a new world heavyweight champion. The final four are going to do battle on pay-per-view. Can't wait. Well, four of the top stars in the world today will go into Toronto, Ontario, Canada at WCW's Mayhem pay-per-view. It's this weekend. It's this Sunday. It's live on pay-per-view. Four men go in. One man comes out. Guaranteed a new world heavyweight champion is crowned this Sunday at Mayhem. Steve Armstrong shoots Curly Fry. No, reversal. And oh, Kendall with a knee to the back and a close line from Curly. Got him coming and going. Kendall Wyndham from the ring apron. And then Curly Bill leveled him with the Lariat. Curly sets him up. How about that I quit match upcoming at Mayhem presented by Electronic Arts? At Halloween Havoc, Goldberg did defeat Sid Vicious. And we've seen a little doctoring of the tape by Sid Vicious before. Goldberg never said I quit. No, but neither did Sid Vicious. No, wait a minute, you said he beat him, but he beat him because the referee stopped the match. He won the match. I stand corrected. Goldberg never said I quit. Neither did Sid Vicious. The referee stopped it due to blood loss on behalf of the Millennium Man. We will find out at Mayhem this Sunday. Oh, it's Kendall got a two count. Somebody's got to say I quit. Think about it, Mike. Tully Blanchard and Magnum TA in 1987. 
Ric Flair and Terry Funk in 89. We still talk about those I Quit matches. This one has big shoes to fill. I think it will. Goldberg and Sid Vicious, I Quit this Sunday at Mayhem. Well, you just really invoked some great memories. Two of the most memorable bouts in the history of WCW and the history of professional wrestling. The I Quit rules apply Sunday. Goldberg, Sid Vicious, if you ask me, it's the only way to settle it. And it's the only way to determine who really is the best man. There's no ref bumps, there's no DQs. Somebody's got to say, I quit at Mayhem this Sunday. Double shoulder block from the Armstrong. Takes Curly Fry to the floor. Kendall into the rope. Double oh. drop kick from Scott and Steve. Putting moves together, and they have their teamwork together as well. And Scott minute. and Steve Armstrong, but look out, Curly Bill from the ring apron. Oh! Hey. The hot shot on the top rope. Kendall has Scott Armstrong tied up. Two, Steve could not get in on time, it's over. The Rednecks win it. Referee Nick Patrick never had a chance. He didn't see Curly Bill up on the ring apron just when it looked like the Armstrongs were in the driver's seat. Kendall Windham and Curly Bell turn it around with illegal tactics, but they get the victory. Still plenty of time for you to make the appropriate telephone call and join us for WCW Mayhem this Sunday. Final four, Sid and Goldberg, I quit. David Blair and Kimberly. For Bobby Heenan, Tony Schiavone, and Mike today, I'm Scott Hudson. See you at Mayhem. Uh, hey, Raptor.